It was the worst oil spill in U.S. history. For three months, millions of barrels of oil continuously seeping into the Gulf of Mexico. BP has accepted criminal responsibility, paying $4.5 billion in damages. Today, the oil company faces its biggest court challenge. Well, the United States government is saying that BP was grossly negligent. If it's able to make that case, then BP's exposure is going to be roughly in the $16 billion range. BP, on the other hand, is saying, no, um, we're only guilty of negligence, not gross negligence. Um, if it's able, if BP's able to make that case successfully to the court, then BP's maximum penalty exposure drops down to roughly $4 billion. So a lot of money at stake. The two sides were trying to settle out of court, but they couldn't come to an agreement and have since dug in their heels, making a drawn-out court case seem inevitable. BP has paid over $23 billion to help people and businesses who were affected. Three years since the Deepwater Horizon explosion, BP has been on a charm offensive, talking up its commitment to the Gulf Coast, touting the billions of dollars put towards cleaning it up. Regardless of the outcome of the civil lawsuit, BP will remain a big player in the Gulf of Mexico. BP will survive no matter how big the liability is, and I have maintained that before. BP still is a very undervalued company, in my view, in the marketplace. Uh, but that is for a reason, because there is uncertainty. We don't know whether the penalty is going to be $5 billion or $25 billion. So obviously the difference is $20 billion, and that is about, what, 15% of the market value of uh, BP. This is the biggest environmental trial in American history. The case could take months, and with the possibility of appeals, it could be years before this matter is settled. Samira Hussein, BBC News, New York.